the atomic model, has been changed over a long period of time? When scientific knowledge develops, scientists learn more. And their ideas about the atomic model change. This is a story of how the atomic model gets changed when new evidence comes along. Democritus proposed that matter could not be divided into smaller pieces forever. He claimed that matter was made of small, hard particles that he called atomos. Hey, I've found something cool. So, what are they? They are tiny particles looks like this. There's is nothing there. Of course. They are invisible. So, what are they? Since they are very tiny, they cannot be broken into smaller pieces. I shall call them atomos, which means uncuttable. So weird. Is the tiny particles really exits? What do they look like? I shall study about this matter. In 1803, John Dalton has found that all matter consists of atoms, tiny indivisible particles, that cannot be created and destroyed. Atoms of one element cannot be converted into atoms of another element. It have identical mass and other properties. Yay! Finally I found it! The tiny particles do exit and it look like a ball. I don't think that. An atom looks like a solid ball. There must be something inside the atom. Perhaps it looks like this plum pudding. Yummy. I love plum pudding. Thomson had discovered an electron from cathode experiment. He observed an electron travel in a straight line. He also found out an electron is negatively charged and possesses mass. How did the particles deflect it? Maybe the atoms have space in them. The plum pudding must be wrong. Maybe there's a space between raising and pudding. Aha! Floating raising. Floating electron. That's explain how they deflect. Rutherford discovered proton and the nucleus. He showed that atoms have positive particles in the center and mostly empty space. Bohr improved on Rutherford's model. He proposed that electrons were around the nucleus. The electrons cannot just floating around the nucleus. The electrons are attracted to the nucleus and they move around the nucleus in orbits of fixed shape, like the solar system. But why? The electrons do not lose energy and crash into the nucleus. The electrons should have quantized energy to remain stable in its orbit. Yay! I got it. There is something wrong with Bohr's theory. I couldn't find the electron in its orbit. Maybe. The electron do not move in fixed position around the nucleus. They behave like a wave. So, that's why it is impossible to know the exact location of the electron. Erwin Schrödinger found that the electrons do not move around the nucleus in orbit, but in the cloud, where their position is uncertain. His theory still widely accepted as the most accurate model of atoms. Thank you.